we're going to review the different ways we've learned to add and talk about why one way is better than the other. This is lesson 5.11. So we can add numbers in different ways. We can use a pencil and paper, mental math. We could use a hundred chart. We can use models of tens and ones. And sometimes one way is easier than another. When we have numbers like this, it's a lot easier to just use a pencil and paper. We can also use models to do this one. We would add the ones place, counting on from the larger number than 9, and add the 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1, put the 3 down, and then add the tens place, 5, 6, 7, 8, we get 83. So sometimes pencil and paper is an easier way to go, even though we could have used models for that one. We can use a hundred chart. Sometimes they start with a one here and end with 100. This particular one starts with zero and ends with 99. But we can still use it because each row is 10. So if we want to just add some tens, like 40 is four tens, we can start at the 34 and just jump down four rows for four tens, and that'll bring us to a 74. See? And the reason it worked to use a hundred chart on this one is because there was no ones here. It was zero ones. We were adding something that had ones to something that didn't have ones in the ones place. See that? So the hundred chart, we just skip down by the four tens. Okay? Mental math is a good way to do it. If we have to add 20 plus 20, we can just think 2 plus 2. We don't need to count our fingers. We don't need to use a 100 chart or models. We can just think 2 plus 2 is 4 and just put the 0 down. We could do that in our head. We could use models of 10s and 1s. If we have 23 plus 19, we can use two tens and three ones for the 23, and one ten and nine ones for the 19. We can regroup this and move one of the ones from here to the nine to make another 10. Now we have a 10 there. We have one, two, three, four tens, and two ones. We have two ones left over. See? So it depends on what the problem is. One might be easier than the other, okay? You might use pencil and paper. You might use a hundred chart. You might use mental math, or you might use models. Let's try problem solving. Dave sold 18 boxes of cookies on Monday. What if each day he sold 10 more boxes than the day before? How many would he sell on Tuesday? Well, if he sells 10 more, on Tuesday than he did on Monday, we would add a 10 to this, wouldn't we? 18 has one 10. Another 10 would be two 10s, right? And eight ones. We would add another 10 to the 10s place, and the ones would stay the same. What about Wednesday? What would be 10 more than on Tuesday? We would add another 10, and we jump to 38, wouldn't we? You see the pattern? If there was 10 more on Thursday than Wednesday, 2, 3, now we'd have 48. See? And if the, he sold 10 more on Friday than on Thursday, we would add another 10, and he would sell 58. So we just counted by 10, starting with 18. We went 18, 28, 38, 48, 58 because he sold 10 more boxes than the day before, okay? So there's all different kinds of ways to add. You can use whichever one you think is easier, all right? I'm going to continue talking about adding two-digit numbers, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.